This video was in direct response to Upper Echelon, uh, a really good YouTube channel who does similar work to people like me, Scott Schaefer, Coffeezilla, exposing bad people in the finance uh, space and going after uh, scams or alleged scammers and different things like that. He does great work. And I am in no ways trying to start beef. I am not interested in beefing with Upper Echelon. He has a wonderful channel. But I have to go ahead and give my opinion on this because I think he kind of threw shots at me. Maybe not. It's hard to believe he didn't. I'm going to tell you guys why. Uh, maybe he didn't see my video. But let me show you guys something. So I made a video about Masterworks before it was cool to do. <laughs> now, now everybody's doing it, which is actually good. Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. It's good that people are doing it. But I made a video on Masterworks about three months ago, okay? Fast forward this month, just this month alone, you've had like three major YouTubers make videos on Masterworks. You've had Scott Schaefer, who's got a hundred and like 27,000 subscribers who you guys know me and Scott Schaefer are not friends at all. <laughs> we do not like each other. Then you have Plain Bagel, who is a fantastic YouTuber, has a very great channel. And now you have Upper Echelon. So my point in all this is this is the video I made right here, right? Masterworks, my honest review. Uh, and it got 15k views. It did well for a channel of my size. It got more views than how many subscribers I have. And uh, yeah, so Upper Echelon, the reason why his video is so important and I want to address it is because, well, number one, he's been sponsored by Masterworks. Like they've actually paid him to do sponsorships on his videos for that company. And it's, it, to me, it just, it, it's not a good look, Upper Echelon. I don't know what your real name is, but it's not a good look when you're defending a company that sponsors you. Today's video sponsor, once again, is Masterworks. I would like to specifically mention that Masterworks is a long-standing partner who adds a great deal of stability to the upper echelon channel. And on top of that, you're in the exposed scam slash, you know, accountability niche, right? And there's very few people in that niche, but you're one of the people. So you're held to a much higher standard than other creators. And I'm gonna break down this video why I think you made a big mistake and why you're just wrong. And I'm going to be, and again, I don't want to start any beef with you. I actually love your channel. I still like you, but I'm going to be critical of you because I think you were wrong. And you said something very interesting in your video. You basically said that all the other videos on Masterworks were terrible, basically. Like you said, the only video that was good was Plain Bagel. And you basically said all the other videos were bad. The video by Plain Bagel, which is linked down below, is the best of what's out there. The rest of the videos on Masterworks, yeah, not so great riddled with ridiculous conclusions, inconsequential, but somehow pivotal example issues that are out of context and incorrect. Well, I disagree with that. I think my video was actually pretty good. I got a lot of good positive feedback and I actually did think the Scott Schaefer's video was pretty good too. I think we all, for the most part, myself, Plain Bagel, Scott Schaefer, we all said basically the same stuff. We have a really huge problem with the way that Masterworks markets to people. We have a really huge problem with the fee structure, and we have a really huge problem overall with the business model and the fact that they've taken this uh, alternative investment, which is art, that typically retail investors don't invest in, can't invest in, in my opinion, should not invest in unless you understand what it is. And they've made it a way where people can take a little bit of money and buy fractional shares of art. But when you dig deeper into the company, there's a lot more to the story. So to, to go to your thing, Upper Echelon, one, you said some very interesting things. One, you said playing Bagel had the best video. Fine, I have no problem with that. He's an incredible YouTuber. He did have the best video. Good. But when you throw shade at everybody else and say everybody else's video was bad, and then you start trying to defend this company while at the same time you're being paid by this company. By the way, guys, I have the inside scoop. I talked to a big YouTuber. I'm not going to review who that was, but I had a conversation with a big YouTuber and he told me that Masterworks reached out to him and they offered him $7,000 to do a sponsorship. So just so you guys know, Masterworks is throwing, throwing some money out there. Masterworks is paying these guys $7,000 per video. For one video, you could get paid $7,000. So when you understand how much money that sponsor is paying and you see the fact that this guy is defending him when he's getting called out for it, it just kind of rubs you the wrong way. So one, I'll say this upper echelon, regardless of how you feel, sometimes, man, you just got to be able to read the room, okay? And one thing that I think we can all agree with is Masterworks is not completely innocent. Now, they're not a scam. We can say that. They're not doing anything illegal. We can say that. But there's some stuff going on with that company 
in what they do and how they market that has a lot of people in the community upset. And Mr. Upper Echelon, you have to acknowledge that. Now, I have no doubt that you're probably going to lose some subs. I have no doubt that people are going to be upset with you. You probably don't care. But now this is where it comes into the integrity thing. Because you did mention in the video that you already had a side meeting and you posted like an unlisted video to it where you talked to the CEO of a company, of uh, Masterworks. That's a bad look. Now, I know you specifically said in the video that they did not pay you. However, if I remember correctly, because I, I just watched your entire 28 minute video, I watched the entire thing. If I remember correctly, I think you said that they did offer to pay you money to put out a video like speaking positively about that. I'm almost certain you said that in the video. That's an option. And they explicitly offered to pay me for a dedicated video on this topic today. Needless to say, I rejected the offer. You coming out and saying, oh, they offered me that, but I didn't take it. That doesn't work for us because you already admitted that they were even willing to pay you to do that. It's not a good look, especially for the work that you do. And also here's another thing you got to keep in mind. Red flag number one that every YouTuber should be mindful of. Whenever a finance company, whenever a company offering a financial product is doing sponsorships on YouTube channels, which their highest demographic is retail investors, that's an automatic red flag. And you have to acknowledge that upper echelon. That is why people are upset with you. And it's not that, oh, Scott Schaefer is supposed to established titles and not everybody's got the pitchforks out no people are tired of getting screwed people got screwed by ftx people got screwed by all these crypto scams voyager digital block five celsius then this guy named scott Schaefer comes out and he exposes that one of the youtube sponsors is a scam which is called established titles then legal eagle makes a video reiterating what scott Schaefer said that established titles is a scam so you got to understand why people are on edge people are tired of getting screwed and again, whenever these types of companies that are offering financial products uh, sponsor or do some type of ad push on a YouTube channel, it's a huge red flag because the target audience is retail. There's not multi-millionaires watching these YouTube channels. There might be a few, but if you really want to market to multi-millionaires, you would be better off sponsoring uh, your product on the All In podcast with Shamath and all those startup people and Jason Calacanis and all that, that would make more sense. Or you'd be better off sponsoring on CNBC or something like that. You have much, you have much more people with higher net worths that are watching that than are watching YouTube videos. The average people that are watching our YouTube channels, with the exception of Coffeezilla, he's probably got a lot of rich people watching this channel. But and we're just talking about uh, Plain Bagel, Scott Schaefer, myself, you Upper Echelon, maybe like a Chris Norland, just people in that space. It's mostly retail investors. And most people who are watching YouTube videos, period, are retail investors. That's just how the game goes. And so when you understand this, you got to understand the fact that, wait a minute, why is this company throwing me all this money? And I'm not saying you're making $7,000. I don't know how much you're making. You might be making more. You might be making less. But the YouTuber that I talked to told me that he was offered $7,000 to sponsor this company. So why is this company throwing so much money at YouTubers? Now, I do agree with what you're saying, Upper Echelon, because I took my first sponsorship literally a few days ago. Uh, I agree. YouTube ad revenue doesn't pay enough. We're putting in a crazy amount of work and effort into making these videos and putting out, you know, good content. We deserve to be paid for it. However, that doesn't mean you take anything. That doesn't mean that you defend any and everything, too, because Masterworks ain't the only sponsor out here. There's plenty of other sponsors that are less controversial that you could take and put on your channel. So that's why I don't understand why you're defending them. You, you know what you're doing, Upper Echelon, in my opinion? You're pulling a Spencer Cornelia. This is literally what Spencer Cornelia did. He shot himself in the foot when he would have been better off just keeping his mouth shut. Instead of defending FTX and his little grifter friends like Meet Kevin and Jeremy Lefebvre and all of them, he should have just shut up. Don't say a word. Don't say nothing. We know that there's a conflict of interest here. There's a financial incentive to being friends with these people. Same thing with you, Upper Echelon. There's a financial incentive to you defending yourself from the Masterwork sponsorship. So why would you shoot yourself in the foot? If you make the decision and you're well within your right to do that, if you decided that you've made the decision, you know what? 
I'm going to continue to do this sponsorship with Masterworks. You were better off just not saying anything. That would have been the best play for you. Just let people disagree with you. Just keep doing what you're doing. Now, if it were me and I had a bunch of people in my comments saying, hey, man, I know you got a business to run. We respect that. But we really don't like this sponsorship. And a lot of people in the community feel that something with this company stinks. You got to respect it. You got to respect it. And I also have a problem with you throwing shade at the fact that you have all these different YouTubers with credibility that are talking about this company. Because you basically said the only person credible is a uh, plain bagel. Okay, well, here's my question, Upper Echelon. You've got all these new channels popping up making videos on Masterworks. You have another big YouTuber in this space, Scott Schaefer, making a video on Masterworks. So my question to you would be, if all these people are making videos on Masterworks, that shouldn't that kind of kind of make you think a little bit? Now I get it. You did your research. You did a very well-made video where you talked about how you felt about Masterworks. However, I watched your entire video and nothing in that video convinced me that Masterworks is any different than how I feel about it, which I personally think it's a terrible investment. I don't think people should be promoting this to their fans. I don't think people should be investing in this. I, I don't think art is a good investment. I don't think buying fractional shares of art is going to do you better than just putting your money in the S&P 500 and focusing on increasing your income. I think that's a lot better than buying fractional shares of art. That's just my personal opinion, and I have a right to that. You got a right to your opinion too, but I just want to make this response video to you because like I said, I'm sure you probably saw my video. Maybe you didn't. I don't know. I feel like you might have. You might have. But either way, it's bigger than that because I'm a huge fan of your channel, man. I love what you do. I watched you when you were exposing that Mario Nafal guy, whatever his name is, and I've seen other videos by you. And I love the work that you do. It's great what you do. You've gotten cease and desist letters. You are putting your, your, your livelihood on the line for this. And I really respect that. And I really respect your journalism and everything that you do. But to be honest with you, Upper Echelon, as a fan of you and as somebody who's in the same space as you, I go after grifters and all that too. I'm not as good as you. You're amazing. But I just got to say, man, I, I think you're wrong here. I think you're wrong. And no matter what you say, no matter how good your research is, sometimes you got to read the room, Upper Echelon. Your research has been very good. You did a very good job breaking everything down how you felt. But it doesn't take away for what everybody can see clear as day with this company. It doesn't take away from that. People still have problems with this company and it's not going to change. The business model, the marketing, the fees, some of the stuff on their website, the risk involved, it's just going to rub people the wrong way in this climate. And I think you missed that part. And I think that's the problem. So in conclusion, I just want to say upper echelon, again, huge fan of your channel, but I don't think this well-researched video is going to go the way you think it, it will. Like, sure, you're going to have your core supporters who are still going to support you no matter what you do. But I think you're going to bring a lot of criticism and a lot of people who are going to be very upset with you after this. It's literally Spencer Cornelius situation replaying all over again. That is literally what you just did right here. And I have an issue with it because, like I said, there are some red flags that cannot be ignored. And I honestly, truly do believe that had you not been getting compensated by this company, you'd probably have a different opinion. That's really what I think. So I don't know if you're going to end up deleting this video. You might. Who knows? Maybe you won't. I don't know. But this video is a bad look. And people feel the way that they feel for a reason. And I don't think it's worth the risk of you putting your all your credibility on the line for a paycheck. And that's really what I think that you're doing. People are already upset. God forbid something bad come out about this company. Then it's really going to be bad for you. And you were really just better off not saying anything. And... It really just seems like you're doing all this in the name of money. And it's bad. It's not worth it. You've got plenty of other sponsorships to choose from. Don't, don't ruin your entire reputation over this, you know? And you won't ruin it with me. I'll still watch your channel. I still love the work you do. But some people are not as forgiving. And I already read some of the comments. It's only been like the first 30 minutes. And there are already people in the comments that are upset. And I think they have a right to be. Because a lot of people trust you. They appreciate what you do and the work that you do. And the fact that you're coming out defending this company that a lot of people have an issue with when you're supposed to be a scam exposing, grifter, slang, whatever people want to call it, exposed channel, it's going to rub people the wrong, the wrong way. So, yeah, I don't know if you ever see this video. I know I'm a small fry compared to you. You've got 600K subscribers. You're killing it. 
But I just wanted to go ahead and give my opinion. Uh, I don't know. Hopefully this resonates with you. Hopefully you don't get upset and angry. And again, I have no interest in having any beefs or anything like that. Uh, I'm still going to support you and watch what you do. I just really wish you wouldn't have come out and said something, man. It, it's it's not a good look. Uh, it, it's it's There's a conflict of interest. It, it just doesn't look good for you. So anyway, those are my thoughts, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, yeah, thanks so much for watching. See you guys in the next one.